Hey besties and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I love everything beauty so much and in today's video we are going to be talking about perfumes. Specifically perfumes that I just think are so beautiful. When I think of these perfumes, I think of a beautiful woman and that's what this video is going to be about. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, definitely keep watching and don't forget to comment down below perfumes that you think are just pretty girl perfumes. I'd love to know and maybe possibly try them. Makeup of the day will be linked down below and the fragrance of the day is the Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. I'm still wearing this every day to get my good use out of it and also come up with my overall review. I do like this product a lot, you guys, but there are some things that keeps it from being a 10 out of 10 for me and keeps it more at like a seven and a half, eight. So I'm still testing this out, but let's jump into the video. I'm looking over here because I'm trying to figure out which one of my babies I want to talk about first, but I'm not going to do this in any specific order. Number one has to be one of the most elegant, beautiful, green, floral, but sweet scents I've ever smelled. This one is so elegant. When I think of Dior Jador, this is their newest bottle, I think of a clean woman, a woman that's nails are freshly manicured. I feel like not a hair is out of place. You are just looking elegant and beautiful and divine when I think of this scent. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. It has a very distinct and prominent honeydew note in there, which just keeps this from being too, too green, too floral, too much. It gives it that sweetness that I love. And I just think the scent is so beautiful. Look at the bottle too. It is so divine. The only thing about this that throws me off just a little bit is the fact that it doesn't last that long. But I love this scent so much. I feel like if you're wearing this scent, you are a beautiful woman. I think you are so enchanting. The scent actually, in my opinion, I wrote in my notes, is kind of dreamy. I wear this one to bed, believe it or not. I know it's pricey, so I shouldn't do that. But oh my goodness, when I'm wearing my silk robe, when I'm wearing my silk two-piece set to bed, I just feel so elegant, so classy, and so beautiful when I wear it. So for that reason, I do feel like this is a very beautiful, feminine, and pretty girl scent. In my opinion, I know some people don't get on with the Jador fragrances. I don't with any of them except for this one. I just can't take it. It is so beautiful and it does give me a lot of compliments. Another scent I do envision when I think of pretty girls is definitely the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. This scent is so inviting. I've said it before, I know, but I do find that this scent is so beautiful. I I feel like if you're wearing this scent, you're the girl in the friend group that everybody wants to be friend. You are pretty and nice and you wouldn't hurt a fly. I think that you know how to have a good time. You're free but also gentle. It's just such a pretty fragrance and I think if you're wearing it, you are just stunning and honestly delightful. So this scent to me is 100% without a doubt one of the most pretty girl fragrances I could ever think of. I feel like this scent, I know it's not the most mature scent, but it is, in my opinion, one of the least intimidating in my collection. And I just feel like when I wear it, I do get compliments as well. It has a beautiful kiwi note that does make it stand out from my other fruity, sweet, musky fragrances. So I love this one a lot and it's staying in my collection forever. It's getting a little low. I'm so crazy. I'm saying it's low, but it's literally not even at half. See how my brain works when I really love a fragrance? I'm like, oh gosh, there's a little dent. I need to re-up. But anyway, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, and I feel like gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear it. Next up is my good girl blush from Carolina Herrera. I feel like if you watched my review, you already knew this would make it in the video, but this scent, the opening is so girly, so feminine. When I smell it, I envision a woman wearing a dress, specifically a flowy dress, maybe some heels. I feel like your hair is done. I feel like it's curly, but like very loose, 
curls and I feel like you are just so beautiful. I remember this one time I was in I think Blue Mercury and I saw a woman she was wearing this beautiful flowy dress. Her hair wasn't down it was actually up but she just looked so put together and I it was kind of like inspiring like I wanted to look like that. That's the type of woman I think of. Oh my goodness if you're wearing this you are just so pretty so feminine. When it does dry down to it does start to smell like the original good girl a, a lot more so it does have that really nice sexiness to it too from the tonka bean so i do feel like even though you're a beautiful woman you give off very light energy you're also not one to be messed with and i like that so this one for me was a no-brainer next up is kaali deja vu white flower i feel like if you're wearing this scent from kaali i feel like first of all you're stunning second of all i feel like not only are you stunning i get like rich elegant vibes from this fragrance i don't know why but i feel like if you wear this you're luxurious you're a luxurious woman i feel like you like the finer things in life and even if you don't you give that off i feel like this scent to me just smells expensive so it is a very affordable scent me personally i have this one for like 20 dollars for the mini size which i know for some people that's still a lot of money for something so small but i will say i've used it a lot of times and it is different than the other kle fragrances um, that aren't the intense versions and that it does have a nice projection and longevity so if you are looking for something that's going to smell very beautiful put together not sexy I wouldn't go as far as to call this sexy but I do feel like it's very grown woman got my stuff together and living my best life I love this one so freaking much and I just think if you're wearing it you're beautiful and you're probably a little bougie even if you're not you're giving off that vibe and I love that <laughs> my next perfume is from Giorgio Armani and this fragrance is definitely different than the others but this one is Aqua de Joya and I just find this one to be such a breath a fresh air. I find this one to be aquatic. I find it to be fresh. I find it to be gently sweet, like lightly sweet. I feel like if you're wearing this scent, you honestly don't have to try hard at all. I feel like if you're wearing it, for some reason, I just envision a woman that's naturally beautiful, that doesn't have to try hard, and again, knows what she wants. I feel like when I wear this one, usually I'm working out or I'm doing everyday errands. It's such a beautiful, easy reach and I think a lot of people would love this one. Me personally, I'm kind of shocked I'm putting it in today's video, but I do think there's something beautiful about this fragrance and the woman wearing it. I feel like if you're looking for something a bit different in your collection, that does give you an aquatic vibe, that does give you that fresh vibe, that clean girl kind of aesthetic, this would be it in my opinion. I for sure do think of a clean girl when I think of this scent and I love it when I wear it because I just feel super confident. Anyone can wear it and pull it off. It is stunning. I could not see anyone not liking this but I understand some people don't like to buy fresh fragrances because they just rather put their money somewhere else which I totally understand but for me I will likely always repurchase this fragrance. It is just so beautiful. I'm also going on a cruise in August and I actually feel like this is going to be one that I do take. I feel like it's gonna be perfect for on the boat. And last but not least is Burberry Her Elixir. This one, I'm not gonna say too much because I feel like if you know, you know. This fragrance to me, it is so sweet. It has a bit of a powderiness to it. Oh, it's so mouthwatering, you guys. It's the only one out of all of them where I smell it and I genuinely, like, my mouth really does salivate. I feel like it is a gorgeous scent and I feel like if you're wearing this one, you know. Like, you know you're the it girl. You know you're that girl for sure when you're wearing this one. So I do think of, like, an independent woman who knows her worth and, like, knows what she's about. I feel like when you're wearing this one, oh my goodness, like, if I smelled someone with this in public, which I haven't yet... I would be asking what you're wearing. I'd be all over you. I would probably, yeah, be like, again, salivating. The scent is very intoxicating. And I think that because with this one, you're not getting so much of that tart as in the original. Instead, you're getting a little bit of a woody vibe to it. And you're also getting that beautiful amber note. It's a little sexier in my opinion. So this one to me, I absolutely adore it. And I don't own the original Burberry Her, but I will say that one I feel like does 
probably give more pretty girl than this one it's just that this one does last longer this one to me is kind of bringing the sexy like I said earlier so for me I feel like this one would be great for a good date night and let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a full video on all of my favorite date night scents I would love to do that for you but yeah besties I hope that this video was enjoyable for you don't forget to comment down below all of your favorite pretty girl fragrances and what certain fragrances in your collection do make you think of when you smell them. I love you so much. Don't forget to also drop down below video recommendations. I love it when you guys do that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye besties. Also, I keep forgetting, do not forget to comment down below your most complimented fragrances because I wanna do a full video trying out your favorite. Okay, bye, I love you.